Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to simplify fractions in the quickest way possible. So remember, both the numerator and denominator must be divided by the same number. Numerator, denominator must be divided by the same number. This is essential when you simplify fractions. Let's take a look at some examples to put this into practice. Say if we, for example, had 6 on 10 and we were asked to simplify this, all we need to do first is look for the highest common factor. So that is a number that they can both divide equally into, and it's the, it's the highest possible number between them. If we look at 6, we can divide 6 by 2, and we can divide 10 by 2 as well. So 2 is a number that we can divide both 6 and 10 into. So 2, so 3 times 2 is 6, and 5 times 2 is 10. So they're both divided into 2, and what we can do is we can cancel out the 2's, and 2 divided into 2 cancels out, and what we're left with is 3 on 5. 3 fifths is our simplified fraction of 6 on 10. We can do this another way. If um, you guys don't like this way, we can simply go 6 on 10. And what we do is we divide both the top and the bottom by the highest common factor, or by the same number. And what we get is 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 5 divided by, oh sorry, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and we left with 3 on fifths, same as before. Let's take a look at one more example. Say if we had 15 on 20. Again, we look for the highest common factor, a number that both 15 and 20 can be divided into equally. So first off, um, if you look at this, we see that 5 can go into both 15 and 20, because 3 times 5 is 15, and 4 times 5 is 20. What we can then do is cancel out the 5s as before what we did here, and we're left with 3 on 4. 3 on 4, so. so we're left with 3 on 4s, and that is a simplified fraction of 15 on 20. We can again do this um, uh, as we did here, we can do it in a different way, we can go 15 on 20, and we simply divide it both by 5, the same number as our rule states, 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 20 divided by 5 is 4. So we have 3 on 4. That is a simplified fraction of 15 on 20. If this video helped you out, make sure to hit the like button. Um, check out my other videos. If you have any other questions, make sure to leave it in the comments. Thank you for watching.